Hello and welcome to another episode of Kenshi. My name is Tobel and we are working with our archer group along with our friend Beep. We're sending them off to the northwest of the map. We're trying to go to uh, somewhere over in this general direction to try to see what kind of goodies we can come across. Our archers, uh, some of them do have the new bows. So we have one carrying a specialist ranger bow and the other carrying an old world bow. That's Laura and Alice. Not to say that Lydia and Jade aren't pulling their weight. They're doing just fine on their own, but uh, we do just need to get more bows, basically. Uh, more high-quality bows for them to carry around. Beep, of course, is uh, traveling with his Nodachi that he... Oh, no, sorry, just a Katana uh, that he doesn't really use anyways. In fact, I probably should at some point change that out. Any more uh, Hyber friends here? Is everyone still dead? Oh, there's a couple more Hybers out and about these days. I kind of forget that uh, that one experience we had where everyone was basically dead. Awkward. By the way, I also set Beep out with a bit too much gear. So let's have someone come meet him at the, uh, the Hyber area. And we'll take a look at the base. He had a bunch of books on him and a backpack that I had forgotten. We'd handed out earlier in the day. We have finished off the semi-automatic ore drill uh, technology, so I'm going to upgrade this to the next level, assuming we've got some plates. We do. Okay, so temporarily they're going to be uh, a little stuck. Where's our crafting folks at? Where are you lot? What are you lot up to? I uh, already have a... Oh, you know what? So let's uh, give them a hold command. Let them practice their new fancy bows. For the moment, we have a beep a passive as our archers continue to pepper the enemy. Can't tell what they're doing compared to some of the hivers, but it's nice to see that the hivers have come back. I don't know if it was temporary or if they were hiding or out on patrol or something, but now there there seem to be quite a few hivers, whereas the uh, at one point they were completely wiped out. So good to see, good to see the hiver friends. Not completely destroyed. When Jackson gets over here, I'll give him the backpack that Beep has. And he'll take some of the goodies back with him as well. The meat and whatnot. And we'll put this on back. So what else do we have going on right now? We've got our main base getting some upgrades. We've got the main base also getting some additions, such as all of the training devices that are in some of these towers. Some of our turret guards are up top working on their skill. Now, don't we have one more? Where'd Hobbs up? Where's, what's Hobbs up to? Uh, Hobbs went to get a bite to eat. So let's have Hobbs go back up top. Oh, nope, it's not finished yet. We still need one more uh, training device to get finished there. So Hobbs can just chill out for the moment. Our farms are doing better. We've got three farms again working on uh, bringing you lovely, delicious cactus. Now, don't we have someone running... We do have someone doing the cactus storage, although it seems like they're quite busy right now. So maybe we need more people to do some of the hauling jobs. I'm not quite sure. Jackson has picked up a couple friends as he's heading over to the rest of the group. I'm going to speed things along here. Don't come back, Hybless. Don't be upset. Don't be upset at us. Okay, let's get a trade going with Beep. And you're going to grab the backpack, all those books. Take his sword, too, because Beep only uses his hands. He's a ninja, right? Ninjas don't use swords. Well, maybe they do. But Beep, 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 Beep doesn't. It's too, uh, it's too dirty. It's too unclean. Unhonorable. Dishonorable. Unhonorable? Sure. We'll make up our own language. It's fine. Okay, Jackson, thank you so much for your assistance, sir. Please return to the base. And we'll get the rest of the folks. Hello. You will obey me. All right, let's get the main squad on the way. We're going to have them head up to... I don't know, should we head across the Screaming Forest somewhere? I think that's on this side. We have a map to a ruin here. So, why don't we go visit Mongrel? Let's, let's run through Mongrel. It'll probably take us at least a day or two. Uh, well, an episode to get our folks up to the northern area. So we'll come back to the squad in a bit. Uh, they've only got a little bit of area to cover. The rest of the squad, are you guys doing alright? You're hanging out being guardians of the base. Secret, I think, is running body disposal. So he's taking the last of the escaped servants, it looks like, that came to visit us. 
Kiros and Stone are still on the uh, the gates doing fine. Are you guys still hungry? Are you hungry at all? Not really. I don't think they'll eat, uh, by the way. You have to kind of tell them to eat sometimes if they've got the turret guard job. Don't you know, Sharon and Ace, do you all have the job to store stuff? Yeah, you do. You've got the hauling to all the areas. So once you're done harvesting, if... Uh, if everything's done, you'll actually go store everything. It's kind of funny that everything's coming uh, to harvest at the exact same time. I don't know why this wheat farm died out. It might have been a water issue back in the previous area. We might have just ran out. Before we wound up upgrading to wells. Uh, the semi-automatic ore drill is almost finished. What else are we re researching? I think we're almost done. Yeah, we've, we cleared out our, our research tree. I'll tell you what, why don't you, Hob, since you're not doing anything, let me, or sorry, Clob, why don't I give all of you some of the food storage jobs so you can help out with that too? Where's the uh, cactus storage? Right here. So why aren't you actually doing that? Uh, well, that shouldn't mean anything. Oh, Zod has already moved all the uh, cactus over. Fair enough. Where is our chef, by the way? Uh, they pulled a gorilla. Let's have Beep engage the gorilla. And have our archers move off to the side. What I do like about gorillas is that they tend to be something that can be kited uh, pretty well because they are they normally come by themselves. 65 damage per hit. That's decent. Those, I think that's the new bows, by the way. Nice to see our archers are still uh, managing to uh, shoot each other in the back. Always impressive. Ooh, ooh, too far. Get him, Beep. Come on, Beep. You got this. Let's see how good Beep could do in a stand-up fight. <laughs> Not too well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, he'll recover from that. No worries. Beep is strong. We'll have him rest up a bit in uh, in Mongrel when he gets there. A little damage never hurt anybody. Uh, we'll Beep it. You know, it did maybe once that one time right now. Um... He should be fine to keep running, though. He's a pretty fast bugger. Quite literally. Alright, so continuing to go to Mongrel. We'll swing by Mongrel. I forgot to trade off all the food that we had, so I'll probably wind up selling that at Mongrel and getting rid of it. Not that we're, we're terribly short on some of the rotten food. We had plenty of rotten food a while ago. Yeah, we still do have quite a bit. And if we ever need more, we'll send the main squad on down to... The hyper area, kill a couple of big things and call it a day. Uh, the chef, what are you up to, Dietrich? I haven't seen you in a minute. Uh, you're working, that's right, you're working on leather tanning. You're basically helping out when you don't have anything to cook. Fair enough. But don't you have stuff to cook, though? <laughs> I thought we gave him, oh, you know what? We paused some of the orders, didn't we? We don't have any raw meat, though. Let's give the order again for chew sticks, because I don't think we actually have much food left. So we'll get chew sticks going again. Uh, let's see, who else is doing stuff? I think we had... You're making plate. Uh, how much plate do we actually have? Not, not a terrible lot. Why don't we start up the order to make all of those plate jackets? I really was a big fan of those. I think they look kind of nice. I think it's going to be a decent armor for the rest of the group. Oh yeah, we finished the helmet too. Uh, let's take a look at that helmet and what kind of stats we have. It is nice that he's... Uh, Kai's already pushing out high grade, high quality helmets and uh, armor. So the flared helmet has no negatives to it. While the plate jacket does reduce some of your dexterity, but for the most part, this should be very good for our main combat squad to use as our first iteration of a uniform... We'll do nine because there's already one on him, and we'll do nine more flared helmets. That'll take quite a while. So this should keep uh, Cobra Kai busy for a bit. Chain armor, we can't do much yet. We don't know much about it. We've got that going. Now, what about weapons? Did we decide on what we're doing with weapons? And we did unlock 
heavy weapons, but we don't know any or too many blueprints for heavy weapons. Stork is working on some more bolts. Can we actually make any decent quality bows? We cannot. All right. Did we decide where we're going from here? Yeah, I, I almost want to grab... Now, the Nodachi still has a, a negative to it for robots. I kind of like... Oh, that's right. You know what? We try to go down to... Uh, we try to go down to the city. Down to Squin, and we wound up not being able to sell or talk to the merchant because we, he was we, we were caught as a faction stealing him from him before. I don't know if it was Beep in particular that can't go or what. But we'll have to find a different way to get those blueprints. And I'm sure it'll involve a little bit of thievery. No big deal. No big deal. Let's speed life up a bit. Not too concerned about what's going on at base right now. For the most part, I think our automation is handling things well. A lot of the things that we have to build just have to be... We just have to wait for it to get done. By the way, we, we just finished the automatic ore drill, so one of you two should have a spare slot. Yeah. So, goalies, you're no longer needed at the automatic ore drill. What could you do? You could work on steel plates, I suppose. This is a- this seems like a very good balance right now of what we're using for iron, so like we only have a little bit of iron to uh, stored up. But there- it seems like the, just- just the right amount to have everything balanced. The iron goes out, it's almost like a just-in-time delivery. Uh, we get the iron out, it goes over to the iron processing, and it comes out as a plate fairly quickly. What about copper? You know what? We might need- let's go put goalies on copper for a bit, because we are starting to do more electronics processing, electricals, and so that will use up some of the copper resources. Guys, I did see your comment, by the way. I don't know how I missed that the fact. I literally looked right at Bippa's name and was like, we need another Bippa. So I'll have to see if we can somehow change the name. Maybe I'll edit a file down the road, or we'll just have twinsies, and that's fine. Sorry about that. I'm not sure how I missed that one. All right, speeding life up a little bit more again. Trying to beat, uh, trying to get through the infested territory. We could let our archers go a little bit crazy for a bit. Although I do want to save some of the bolts for the most part in case we really need them on an, oh, what the crap? Guys, you're killing me. Uh, in case we need them for a really important uh, escape or something like that. Why Jade is loaded down with a bunch of food? Okay, we're gonna help her out because we don't really need All this crap. Alright, she should be a bit faster now. Perfect. Okay, so we'll get out of here. That is a big squad. I love the two times mod or whatever we're running for the squad size. Both on the... Both on the nest multiplier, so we have more nests. And then we also have bigger squads running as well to compensate for the fact that we don't have that many raids. So it's, uh, it's pretty fun. We'll get everybody into Mongrel and heal everyone up. Probably spend a, a little bit of an afternoon uh, napping away. Well, it is evening right now, so... There's that. You could probably sell all of your goods to the bar... The barman as well. Hello, fellow Hiver. I am your lord and savior, Beep. Uh, we're going to grab a little bit of rice here. Sounds good. And we're going to... I think everyone's relatively healed up. They only got hit with... Uh, with uh, stunning or with, with blunt weapons there. There should be another bar, correct? Okay, everyone, good night. And let's go back to the main base to take a look at things going on here. I would like to get our folks rent uh, rented. I would like to get our folks into the training going, uh, the training happenings here soonish. Oh, do we actually have toughness up? And we've got a crash. I'll be right back. 
We're back from the crash. Everyone's uh, up in their beds. I did have to just run everybody back in and re-up the order for all of the plate armor, jackets, and flared helmets. So no big deal there. Uh, what I was going to say before the crash, and I'll, I'll, I'll quick save in case that was what caused it. We did actually finish some stat training devices in the last little bit of spamming around. So uh, it's time. It's time for basic training again, guys. Where are we at? Let's take a look at the, uh, the basically the stats in general. We've got strength and dodge. Why is total strength so low? Has it always been that low? That's kind of surprising. I wouldn't mind working on dodge actually, just for fun. Or, or uh, yeah, dodge is dodge is something that could be useful. It helps out if we if we're staying relatively light. I don't know. That reduces your dodge by 0.9. Uh, where is Cobra Kai? The plate armor reduces it by 0.8. So you can still dodge a little bit. So it's not like it's a useless skill. And, you know, if you're able to dodge something, that's one less attack that you have to worry about. Toughness, of course, is always really important. So I think we're going to split the group up evenly between uh, toughness and dodging. <laughs> oh my god, they're, do <laughs> they're doing the uh, the creepy hybrid thing, and apparently everyone else is just going to let their uh, their parts burn. God, that's really messed up. <laughs> Alright, uh, so we'll do dodge for a bit. I will have them jump up to attack and defense down the road as well. Uh, we'll, t we'll, we'll try to run the whole gambit here. We'll do, you know, strength, we'll do everything. We'll try to get these folks up and running into a much higher level of skill. Also, who had, who had all the food? Was it uh, Jade? It was Jade. So, Jade, why don't you go downstairs and talk to the barman for a bit. Have to resell this stuff, and I'll probably grab a couple more items of food here. Yeah, we'll grab some Gohan and some bread for the long trip north. No big deal. Easy come, easy go. Who do we have for recruits here? A couple folks. Oh! <gasps> Oh my gosh, guys. Is this a, um... Is this a hybrid worker? Could he be, like, Beep's ninja assistant? How many hybrids can you recruit? I think this needs to happen. I think Beep needs a, an apprentice, guys. Uh, his name is Jaglonger. Jaglonger. Um... I mean, is it is it so wrong to just want to go and make him boop? I feel like boop is pretty accurate. I'm going to go with boop for the moment. Now, we can always go to a plastic surgeon to change the name, but I kind of am really excited about beep and boop, you guys. Like, what if beep, what if boop becomes just as stealthy as beep and they become twinsies? And, like, look, boop has the... A uh, Hive Soldier Drone stats. He's got Toughness and Attack. Actually, that's really all he has. That's kind of surprising. Well, everything else is default. He's got 200 hit points? Oh, for his head? Your head is okay. Yeah, your head is okay there. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty beefy. Beep, I would like you to wake up. I would like you to meet your new apprentice. Let's get a nice comparison here. You guys, you guys, I think Beep and Boop is going to become a thing. I am so excited right now. Together, they will fight, and they will destroy all evils in the world. But first, Beep is going to take a nap again. But later, they're going to destroy all the evils in the world. Oh, this is so exciting. Um, for, first, though, we have to get him through... We have to get him through this area. Are we going to... I think we need to send him home before too much. I mean, like, we, we can bring him with us, but... He's nowhere near the level of Beep's flawless ability yet. So should we have Boop run the same kind of gauntlet that Beep did? Or should we send him home uh, to our, our outpost? We really need to name our outpost. I'm going to put a, a straw poll up in chat pretty soon. And I'll try to get all the names that we've been having uh, people recommend. And we'll try to name the outpost. Because... Uh, it has been your outpost for far too long. 
Now we could get him to the northern part. I mean, nor even to the north is fairly uh, dangerous. What we'll, we'll do is we'll have somebody carry Boop over to the east side of Mongrel. Then Boop has to make his own way down to the outpost. That'll be his rite of passage, like everyone else has to make their ru their initial run home. Okay, so let's get everyone gathered up outside the gate. Uh, well, before I do that, are there any sh uh, shops we want to visit? There is a weapon shop. Oh, and by visit, I mean totally break into. Uh, Beep, what are you up to, bud? How's your sneak? Are you damaged from... Are you damaged... Uh, is your sneak low from your injury? Just a bit. Not too bad, though. Although it's not like it always is. Let's have him rest. No, it's it's almost daylight. We have to do this pretty quick. Hang on. We'll get him up here. Did I screw this up already? I really hate when that happens. You you like you get too close to a door and it triggers like for some reason it triggers the the reaction that you're a thief. How, how tough is this guy? Can I beat his ass? No, not really. He's a shinobi freaking guard. I'm also slightly irked that he can know exactly where I just went. Let's run across town here and see if we pissed anyone else off. Let's get our squad ready to go in case everything goes to shit. Have everybody meet up by the gate. He should be able to get in here pretty quick, even if he runs in front of people. <laughs> Sure. I, I love it. Is he just confused? He just seems confused. Okay. Uh, hey, Beep, let's go crazy. Uh, we're, we're looking for blueprints uh, specifically. We're not even worried that much about weapons themselves anymore because we, you know, we're able to make pretty decent quality. So now we need to start getting the education in order to make those items. Boy, these guys are flipping out. Oh, Moon Mooncleaver? Okay, I might take everything back. Mooncleaver's really nice. I thought it was a falling sun, or falling star, or whatever it's called at first. Uh, they do damage to robots, so that would be nice. I don't want to weigh Beep down, though, with a bunch of extra stuff at the moment. I doubt this Hiver's going to have anything on him, but we'll check just to be safe. And by the way, we could also probably... Ooh, we can't stealth KO him, apparently. We have to be careful. These guys are running up and down the stairs. I think if we stay out in the shadows here... We'll be okay, and he can lockpick from far away. They're a little bit buzzing because they did get my... I did trigger them a little bit. Uh, hold sabers. I don't think I'm a big fan of hold sabers. Can you pick that from here? Ooh, I don't like that too much. We'll see if you can pick that really quick. I'm fairly sure with the speed at which the people are running downstairs and Beep's inherent stealthiness... It might be okay even if they see him during the uh, in the light here, because he's under the uh, the lamp. I wish you could turn the light off. Like in theory, he should be able to jump up and just punch it, right? I'll speed things up just a bit. Gotta hurry up because the shopkeeper is going to wake up here very soon. Yeah, he just rolled on past. He'll close the door and run back upstairs. I think in a second here. Uh, this lock is giving Beep a whole bunch of trouble. There we go. Dang, still just uh, just weapons themselves. Decent quality Nodachi. Again, I'm not as worried about stealing weapons themselves because we I feel like we can get there unless it was like a unique or something like that. But uh, just a generic high quality weapon. Shit, what, uh, why is Laura getting attacked? Oh, there's a random hiver over here? That's funny. Well, you're not going to have, or a uh, fogman rather. <laughs> Nicely done. Nicely done. Ooh, you know what? Okay, hang on. For funsies, as they say, I want to move everyone up here. Can you all, like, just sit up here and execute a bunch of, uh, of fogmen from the, the ridgeline? Like, proper archers? Aww. I don't think they've got the the either the angle to do it or the um, 
Yeah, or what have you. Uh, Ninja Blades. I We could steal Ninja Blades. I don't think we... Do, we don't know that that recipe as far as I can tell. Let's go to the map and we'll go to the crafting tree. Over to the weapon smith. Um, and we don't have ninja blades, although I don't know if they're super needed or not. But if that's the only thing we can steal, then that's the only thing we can steal. Of course, it, he'd wake up for that. One particular thing that was not all that interesting. I don't think they have much else to, to sell here, though. So... We'll try for a stealth KO just for fun, because we need to build up our assassination skill. And uh, we'll head out the door and be done with life. Crap. Oh, ooh, that's not good. Did not like the fact that the, uh, the door was locked open. Well, now Lydia and Jade have a shot here, so maybe it is. It looks like it is an angle thing. Okay, so who is the strongest among us? It seems like Alice might be... And she doesn't have much on her, so let's carry Boop. Uh, Boop, if you wouldn't mind getting picked up. Thank you so much. Beep is trying to get the crap out of town here. I don't think anyone really sees him. They were just upset about the fact that he tried to knock someone unconscious. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes you just have to get your, you know, knock unconscious on. So let's try to get out of town first, and then I will give them a long run uh, to the east. Yep. Okay. Sounds good. Let's get everybody off to Holy Nation territory. And I think we're all... Yeah, we're all still pretty close together. Cool. Are there any... Real quick, are there any... Um, green bloody corpses around? Those are the Hive Princes? Or the um, Fogman Princes? I don't see any heavies either, so I don't think there's any... Uh, princes in this particular vicinity. Don't mind us just passing, quite literally passing through. No big deal at all. Hopefully no one takes an uncomfortable knock um, while they run through a really, really big group. It doesn't look like they will. Okay, let's go back to the main base. Oh, we're so excited. We got another, you know, we got a character. Uh, we're going to train him up. It's going to be great. Boop is going to turn out to be a fabulous addition to our stealthy ninja squad. It'll be like beep, boop. Uh, probably Hobbs. Isn't Hobbs doing some martial arts down the road? Or he was at some point? Oh, he's up to 42 in martial arts. That's not bad, honestly. We probably want to take him off passive so he can help out during uh, defense as well. Let's see if anything else is finished. Is it? I don't think Beep's room, quote-unquote, is finished. This was Beep's room. Uh, everyone's okay. Someone took a little shot, I think. That's about it. The main squad, are you all still doing your thing? You're all just getting your uh, your crotches burned. That's fine. Whatever whatever works for you. And they're working on their toughness as well. Cool. Well, they're going to grind that skill up for a while. We're going to get Boop headed home once we're out of the Mongrel Zone. Or the uh, Fog Islands. And then we'll get the rest of the squad continuing on to the north. More than likely, next episode, Jade has just disappeared off the main group here. Not, not the worst thing in the world. Jade is pretty quick on her own anyways. I just hate to have uh, part of the group split off. We'll give everyone the run as fast as you can. Kind of an order. So we get we just get through this zone. Beep and boop. Attorneys at law. I like it. They can have their own like show. They can have their own t-shirts. Oh, it's going to be great. It's all about marketing, guys. It's all about... After sale. Alright, Boop, your one requirement in order to join, truly join, the unyielding, is to make it home. That's it. Not too hard. Uh, once he really starts getting to a certain point, I think he'll be okay. He's just, it's really just down the road. Hopefully he takes the road next to the hub instead of trying to go down to uh, the hive area. Uh, we're going to send our group, probably we'll do this path to the north. You know, I've never been over here. I'm really curious to see what this looks like. This really open area to the north. I don't know what's there. It looks like there's something there. Maybe we'll go explore uh, that, that particular area. You know, or maybe it'll be absolutely horrifying. Who knows? I'm sure that's, you know, that's part of it. This seems like a good entrance right there. So we'll give everyone the order for that. Oh, are you nearly dead? <laughs> so mean. 
Oh, Holy Nation, I forgot how much I hated you. Life has been so calm since... You know, hasn't it really, though? I mean, most of the attacks on our base, we don't even realize because Stone, Kiros, and then the Dog Squad and the Animal Squad just take care of everything. It's a little bit crazy. How you doing on the armor job, Kai? Uh, you're actually short on iron plates. So as you're making iron plates, you'll use them for the jacket. That's fine. Nothing else going on. We've got a band of uh, bones raid in a couple days. I will probably try to defend that raid completely. I'm curious if we can stand up to them 100%. By the way, I can unpause this watchtower. We should have plenty of building materials. And for the most part, our group is... Uh, our group is able to um, have the time to do that. Our, our our construction folks were really busy with all of these training dummies, but I think for the most part they're almost finished. All right, back over to the other squad, and we are close to. I saw a ruined outpost somewhere. Oh yeah, the ruined. The, so this ruined outpost, I think. Yeah, someone's inhabiting this. A bunch of fogmen inhabit this ruined outpost. I don't think I want to visit that just yet. Let's also change Boop to... Uh, we'll change him over to a different squad, probably. We'll dump him down to the Brain Squad temporarily. Just in case I want to give someone a quick order, I can use the tilde key to select everyone. What is over here, then? Oh, are you serious? What in the world? That doesn't look t absolutely terrifying at all. Yeah, sure, let's go there. That seems completely safe. Okay, Boop is getting uh, chased by a pack of dogs. Hopefully this will encourage uh, Boop to get his athletic skill up higher. <laughs> I think he's actually outrunning them. So we should be good to go. Back to the terrifying death claws of sadness. Uh, where do we get in here? Let me save, uh, quick save the game because we've been having a lot of crashing issues as per the huge. So it's a, it's a very hilly area. Okay, is it going to get foggy as soon as we get down in here? I think it will. And sure enough, it did. Let's... Oh, God, this is creepy. Let's get to the central area here. I hate... Some, you know, some of the camera areas are really rough for us. Ooh, it's all flat, though. I really like flat areas to build in. I don't honestly think I've ever been in this zone, you guys. So I have... No idea what the hell is going on here. This is fucking terrifying. Yeah, what the... Indeed. Uh, okay, we've got iron spiders. What the fuck? Yeah, that's about right. This is some uh, screenshot-worthy levels of creepiness here. So... Does it hurt us to walk in this area? It looks like it used to be a green area, a Greenland area. Uh, I don't really want to mess with the... How, how tough is the spider? 200 on each? Hey, side note, for funsies. It's just him right now. Let's see how good our archers can do. And how, I don't think he's going to move super fast. We could probably kite him pretty well. We might even be able to take him down one at a time. And uh, strip him for parts. I like that he leaks oil. That that makes me very happy. Let's give uh, Beep a sneak command so he doesn't get interrupted, and we'll have our archers continue to pepper this guy. I'll tell you what, Alice, just you know, just to give you a little bit added assurance that you don't knock your friends out. All right, a little bit closer. I love that he leaks oil. That's awesome. It's the little things in life that make me truly, truly happy. Could you knock this guy out, please? There we go. Uh, what did he have on him? Okay, not much. I think iron spiders... I think there's another race of spiders that has better loot. And I think they are up north. Okay, so... What the crap? Are we in the middle? So this is the middle area that looks green on the map. I got my sound cranked up too in my headphones and this is uh, pretty damn eerie. <laughs> Dead environment. Well, that's that's depressing. Sure enough, is is like I mean, is there nothing in here? Just a bunch of skellies. 
I don't know what the lore is. I don't know if they are saying that there used to be a race of giant spider creatures or, or uh, you know, robots, or if this is just, you know, like artwork and, and some kind of a, a broken robot's homage to the rest of his race or something like that. Oh, we finally discovered a ruin in here. I was wondering if we'd find anything. Not as afraid of iron spiders as I used to be. Well done, Lo-Fi Games. You have successfully creeped me out on a uh, relaxing afternoon. It's daylight. My windows are open, but uh, no thank you. I will nope the heck out of that. By the way, we do have an agreement with the subscribers, and uh, this is going to be on on this video too, so you can come back and clip it for later posterity. I, I did agree that if we ever get up uh, upwards of like... Uh, uh, well, someone said a million. I don't know if that's realistic, but if we ever get at least 100,000 subscribers, I will, oh god, I will watch and play some kind of terrifying game that you all want me to play in the dark with my headphones blaring. Look, if I scream and I blow out your eardrums, it is not my fault. I have, I've warned you, I'm a big baby, and uh, yeah, that's that. Okay, uh, we are at a, are we in an ancient lab? Ooh, are you serious? Out of nowhere, we have ancient lab goodies right here. Let's get our squad down the hill a bit, because their stealth is not as amazing as Bieber's. Are you still injured? No, you're not, for the most part. So you're up to 100 health again, uh, stealth again, not health. Same thing as last time. I'm gonna have, actually there's... A lot less guards here. Uh, fewer guards, so... I'm going to swing by the barrel here, since I think Beep is actually fast enough to just kind of stop every so often. Uh, still nothing really on the second floor, so we're going to go back to our hidey hole on the third floor, see if Beep can get up here. Uh, we could, honestly, if we, if we didn't have the stealth for this, we could probably kite them out and kill them. Well, that was unexpected and exciting. Let's quick save this. I've never been over here, so this is, uh, this is really cool to find. Okay, so Beep is set. I think he's safe for a second. Let's go home real fast. I wanted to set Boop up. Are you not home yet? Oh, come on, Boop. Get to it, buddy. Let's give Boop a remote command. Maybe he'll be able to do this from far away. I guess let's have you work on your... Not attack. Let's have you work on your strength or something like that. Okay. We'll have Boop give... Can I, can I give this order from this far away? Will he get it? Not quite. I'm going to give him the order to come upstairs, and then the advanced strength training job should kick in. Alright, back to Beepy. Back to Beepy. What do you see, sir? Lots of goodies? I hope. I hope it's going to be amazing like it was before. I'm going to speed life up just a bit, so we can get through some of the, pick, uh, the lock picking fairly quickly. Nice. Ancient science book. Couple of repair kits. A ton of power cores. That's going to be interesting. I mean, if we kite all of them out, we'd be able to bring the entire group up there. Although, I just... I think it's going to be easier just to do some shuffling runs with Beep. Uh, do you need to be careful about his weight, though? I'll grab a couple of health kits, because I never like to pass those up. I'm going to pass on some of the less expensive items right now. Or, or the less um, valuable items. I don't know why I've been collecting so many tools. I don't really think that's necessary. I mean, Beep at this point can pretty much break into anything he, he wants or needs. So this doesn't quite seem as lucrative. Well, I take it back. There's a, there's a couple books here. Let's get the rest of this unlocked first, and then we'll see what else we've got. The big safe here should be harder. Ooh, that's almost uh, to the point where Beep wouldn't be able to do it. I'll speed things up just a bit. Hey, we finally built that other wheat farm. It's, it's taken us forever. Before I forget, there we go. That's a nice haul. Uh, do we have any room for this? Actually, I can't stack these, so I'm gonna grab another, maybe one more. Okay. 
We're gonna have Beep come outside and, and uh, get down there with the archers. Let's see how fast he can go. Beep is the wind, beep is the night. Okay, so we're gonna spread the love a little bit, although it seems like Jade doesn't have a ton of space because she's actually carrying the food for us. All right, that was uh, that was surprisingly successful. Let's learn this before I forget. I want to jump uh, jump home. I need to give the orders for our two farmers, Ace and Sharon, to add this new cactus farm or wheat farm to their uh, to their repertoire. Or is it already there? No, I don't think it is. I think we do have one, two, three, four farms. Yep. Very cool. I'm very excited about our farms. What's our uh, what's our stockpiles like right now? We're at 85 wheat straw. Our cactus is getting uh, pretty much used up as soon as it comes in, it seems like. We haven't done grog production because I've disabled grog production for the moment until we get a decent stockpile of wheat straw. And then I'm going to go crazy. By the way, did we do this? Yes, we have finally upgraded the dang wheat silo. We'll upgrade this, although it's probably going to start processing wheat straw. That's, that's not a big deal, I suppose. I wouldn't mind a more efficient machine. That way we're getting more straw flour per each wheat straw. Is everything else good? I think everyone's still working on stuff. Did Boop make it home? Boop is home! And he's starting to work on his strength. Or his assassination strength, as it looks like. Great. Back to... Explorer Squad Alpha. The Beep Show. Welcome to the Beep Show. Back into your hidey hole up here. Alright, let's go through the rest of the boxes and we'll, we'll probably grab whatever we can find, honestly, that's uh, not nailed down. We can always dump stuff later on that uh, we don't need. Alright, that looks like it's just about it. Uh, that was a good haul, though. I mean... This makes me think that we got really, really lucky with the original... What did we find over to this? You know, we found an ancient lab way down here. Uh, where was that that we found that? Oh, sorry, way down here. Right? Uh, and that one was... No, that was an ancient tech lab. This one just says ancient... Labs. Okay, so maybe that just means it's less quality. To be fair, it was guarded very lightly as well. I don't want to take the generator cores because they weigh an absolute ton. You may need those down the road for tech, uh, for learning technology, honestly. I don't know. Do we, uh... Would we need any of those for technology? The storage sheds are starting to get in the way. I'm going to just probably queue up all of the storage sheds I can find because I do not believe they cost anything. I, mostly at this point, I just want them out of the queue. Because they're kind of annoying to look at. Once they're done, they all go into their own little special... Uh, what do you call it? Their special little... Building item... Organization. So, hopefully all these will now be out of the way of our technology. Oh, here we go. More. Alright, fair enough. Lots of stuff to work through there. No big deal. Did we need anything for electrics in terms of a generator core? Maybe not yet. We might need one down the road. Heavy generators. Okay. Ancient science books. No big deal. So, what else can we do here? We've got... I think we've covered everything in this room. I mean, I'm going to leave a couple things here and there. Mostly because we're, we're still heading north. We're still heading farther north. So, I don't want us to be so overloaded that we... Uh, we can't do anything. What the hell's over here? Some crazy flashing going on. Uh, I've got a little bit of a bandit group coming to visit. Hey, Hobbs is Marshall. Let's watch Hobbs kick some ass, you guys. You're like the wind, Hobbs. You're like the wind. Holy shit! No, that was that had to have been Gimli. 
something just did like 100 damage in one hit. Oh no! Uh, Kenmore went down with a pretty nasty, probably a bolt to the head. That was pretty rough. Okay, so... Hobbs is doing decent damage here. Uh, is somebody coming to take care of Kenmore before he dies? Okay, so it looks like Zod is uh, on the way. Or sorry, uh, Klob is on the way. And Kuros. Oh, Kuros is mounting crossbows. Fair enough, fair enough. Alright, so base is doing good. Base is doing fine. Let's get back over to the amazing and stealthy adventures of Beep Esquire. Good enough. I think we've gotten most of the items out of here. Uh, that'll do. That'll do, Beep. That'll do. We'll probably run downstairs. I don't think there's anything else we could want to look at. These are electrical storage. There's no general storage boxes here. Uh, there are some food storages we don't really need to get into. So, uh, come on down, Beep. And go ahead and trade with Alice. If you would be so kind, she can carry some of the load. Does everyone have a first aid kit? I think they do. Yeah, okay. Alright, so we've uh, we've spread the love around. I'm so glad we came in here. I didn't expect this at all. Now, is there anything else in this area? I mean, we could split the party up, right? Nothing bad ever happened from sl uh, splitting the party. Let's do that. That sounds like fun, right? Oh, Jade and Alice can't go anywhere. Maybe they can't find a path to go in this direction. My theory is that uh, if they found anything, they would actually immediately have, you know, it would unlock it pretty quickly. Okay, that was, uh, that happened all, that all happened pretty quick, so no, this is a very small area. Nothing else found, it looks like, other than some spiderling friends. Very cool. What a neat little uh, what a neat little area to go visit. All right, let's get everyone outside, and I probably it sounds like it's a good spot to uh, wrap up this episode of Kenji and our mighty exploring squad of awesomeness. We'll have them continue to the north across the. This might be the Screaming Forest. I can't remember. I, I'm either that or it's up here. Uh, so we'll try. We'll we'll go to this ruin because it's listed there. And we'll just see what we've got. So, thank you all so much for joining me for this episode of Kenshi. I do hope you're enjoying the series as always. And, uh, again, welcome. Welcome, Boop. I do hope that you make a wonderful addition to our Hiver squad, which is not really existing yet. But, uh, yeah, you look pretty tough with your creepy-looking little claw things. Yeah, three fingers. Three-finger death punch. Perfect. All right, guys, thank you so much. Take care. I'll see you next time.